and uh, is this your first time to this floor? First time, yeah. I'm very impressed. It's like nothing I've seen before, really. That was lovely. Really happy to be back. It's so good. Like so many genuine people here, and I love that. All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. So this video is going to be like a little day in the life, just exploring Bangkok, going about my normal routine. Nothing special out of the ordinary, but I just want to take you along with me and show you what it's like to live in Bangkok, Thailand. Also, I had a comment on my YouTube channel recently saying I should upload more. Have been uploading once a week, but recently I've increased it to two. So let's see how that goes. Hope you guys appreciate the effort and let's go on with the day. Let's go. All right, first things first, I need a haircut. It's been about two or three weeks. Normally I get my haircut twice a month, so there's a nice little barber shop in Bangkok, which I always go to, uh, he's called Leo, and I'm gonna take you there with me. Just ordered a bike, which I'm gonna try and find it, and it costs 40 baht, it takes 10 minutes, so pretty quick. All right, just arrived. It's just a quick journey from my condo. Only took like 10 minutes. And this area is basically Asok. It's located along the road of uh, Sukhumvit 16. And it's pretty close to Benjikiti Park and also close to Asok BTS. And it's the best barbershop in Bangkok for me. I'm pretty particular about my hair. I don't want to find someone which I can trust. And this is the place, so let me show you inside. Right, here we are, so past the Palate studio, and you go up to the fourth floor, and you'll find the barbershop. So you can see this is called Fiji Cuts. Hello. What's up, bro? <laughs> it's dark in here. Yeah. How are you doing? <laughs> this is Leon. Half Thai, half Swiss. I'm not Swiss. I'm Swiss? Swiss? Mm. Swedish. <laughs> I'm big in Switzerland. He's got his own page. He also makes TikTok videos. <coughs> yeah, can't speak. Also makes TikTok videos and uh, IG videos. All right, so let me show you around the barber shop. So we've got, oh, you got two chairs now. This is actually your own shop, right? Yeah. And how long have you had it? Five months. Five months. Yeah. And how old are you? 23. 23? Yeah. 23 years old and he's got his own shop. It's impressive. All right, let's get a haircut. fade as usual and yeah if you want to check it out it's called Fiji Cuts Barbershop located on Sukhumvit 16 cost 850 baht so it's not the cheapest but for me it's 100% worth it I come twice a month always gets the job done definitely somewhere I recommend highly so I'm feeling a little bit hungry but before I want to eat I want to go for a walk in the park and I'll show you guys my favorite park in Bangkok so let's go So when people ask me where's my favorite place to come in Bangkok, I actually usually say Benjikiti as my number one place, apart from obviously beautiful sky bars, restaurants. For me, my favorite thing is probably coming here, Benjikiti Park. So this is located very close to Asok BTS. It's pretty central and it's massive. You have two sections. You have the old part, which is uh, Benjikiti Park, and then you have the new forest Benjikiti, which is like a renovated area where they have like skywalks and it lights up at nighttime. Um, you can do one of those paddle boat it looks like a duck and there's a big running track right around this park which is great for jogging or running yeah so it's definitely an ideal spot if you just want to get away from the busyness of Bangkok 
I come here and it's perfect. I try to come here probably like once every week or every two weeks and it just gives me a reset. I can come, I can think, I can just relax and uh, enjoy it because it's really beautiful. So I'm actually from a small town in England, or a village I should say, where the population is only a few thousand. And for me, being in Bangkok, I absolutely love it, but it can get overwhelming at times. And, and just coming to a place like this gives me a reset and I need it. I can clear my head, I can think properly. And like I said, I'm a nature person, so it just makes me feel happy. Mi kwam suk mak mak. I can hear the birds right now, so peaceful. And lucky that it's right at the end of October now, which means that it's pretty much the end of rainy season and the dry season starts in November. But days like this where it rains a little bit, but not too bad, it's cloudy. So it's actually not that hot. It's great for a walk. So another famous park in Bangkok is called Lumpini Park, which is probably like 20 minutes from here. And that one is famous because it has monitor lizards, which they call he in Thai. Um, this park doesn't have it. However, what it does have is turtles. See if we can see any. Okay, there's none here. Oh look, I found some. There we go. Wait, can you see that? Wait, where'd it go? There, right there we have our turtle. So I just asked the lady how much it is to go on the ducky boats and they said it's for free. So I was like, all right, let's go. And then she said, ah, but the last time is 5.30 p.m. and it's now like 5.20. So it's from 9 a.m. to 5.30 and it's for free. Apparently, if you come in the morning before 1 p.m., you get one hour out there. But if you come after 1 p.m., you only get 20 minutes. But actually, all, everyone on the boat is a couple. So I don't really want to go out. It makes me feel lonely. <laughs> All right, here's my driver. Let's hop on. All right, and we have arrived. So that took around 10 minutes from Benchikiti Park to get to here, which is Emsphere Mall. This is Bangkok's newest mall located in Prompong. And it's great. Taxi ride costs 50 baht, super cheap. Let's go find some food. So this is actually one of my favorite places to come in Bangkok in terms of a mall because they have all types of cuisine here. And yes, it is a little bit pricey, but the convenience is great because it's located right in the middle of the city in Phnom Penh. Sawadi kap. Sawadi kap. Sawadi mai kap. Sawadi kap. Kun shu alai kap. Shu dan kap. Dan. So Dan is my best friend and he's here back in Bangkok. Finally. It's good to be back. Very good. Very so, good. Dan travels a lot and he's been all over the world, including South America, yeah. Japan, yeah. Canada. Just got back from Peru, Colombia, Mexico, El Salvador, USA, <laughs> Canada, Japan, Hong Kong and Bangkok. Yeah. Finally. So how does it feel to be back in Thailand after nine months? Yeah, nine months. It feels like the most sociable city in the world. Yeah. I'm really happy to be back. It's so good. Like so many genuine people here and I love that. And is this your first time here or your second time to this mall? Second time to this mall? Yeah. But it's, uh, yeah, the brand new M-Sphere. It's amazing. Yeah. Very cool to be in here. It's huge. It is. It's massive and it's brand new and it's very, very popular because of the location. Yeah. And we're going to go for some food. So are you ready? I'm hungry. Hugh Mac! Hugh Mac! Right, 
so we're currently on the fifth floor of M Sphere, and this is called M Wonder, which you can see right there, and it's brand new, only just opened literally like two months ago. And uh, it has Japanese restaurants, international cuisine, Thai, different kind of styles of restaurants. Like there's an F1 themed restaurant, there's a highball restaurant, there's a shakariki, there's a Mami Rose, which is one of the same owner as Pastel on Sugar Bit 11. And it's just a nice vibe, like gorgeous views. You can also watch the football on the big screen. And uh, is this your first time to this floor? First time, yeah. I'm very impressed. It's like nothing I've seen before, really. It's like outside, inside, and we're in like a mall on a high floor. Unbelievable. In a city, it's just unusual. It kind of gives off that beachy vibe. Yeah, it does. Very tropical, very beachy. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to find some food, yeah. maybe go to Mami Rose, and then after that, we'll show you guys Tribe. Okay. Which, have you been to Tribe? Never. First time for everything. Let's yeah. go. So Tribe is basically like beach themed rooftop style restaurant bar in Bangkok with a nice view and it has a swim pool. Let's go. You have swimming trunks? I do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's go eat first. Right, and we are at the restaurant, which is called Mami Rose. And I just asked the waitress, I was like, what's the theme of the restaurant? And she just laughed and said Miami. So I'm not is sure it, exactly what that means, but... Is it like a play on words? Mami, Miami? Yeah. I don't know. Potentially. But it does remind me of Miami. It's um, got those pastel colors and nice theme. And you get these fans on every table. Mami. And then I know after hours, maybe like after 9 or 10 p.m., I'm not sure the time exactly, they turn this area into like a dance floor and they? They, and they have a live DJ. Oh, DJ booth, cool. Yeah, very so, cool. I guess it's like house or techno music. Nice, very cool spot, amazing. Yeah. You're getting that breeze and it's a gorgeous view. Yeah. Yeah, good I'm vibes. Getting, I'm getting French vibes as well. Mm. All right, as we sat down, they just gave us two free drinks. You want to give it a try? Very good. Yeah. Bubbly. Champagne-y. Champagne? I don't drink. <laughs> I do now. <laughs> Dan drinks now. <laughs> I like champagne and Prosecco and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's very good. All right, Mark. All right, Mark. All right food has arrived. So I ordered the Wagyu beef lasagna. Dan's got a mushroom risotto. And then we're going to share these Parmesan truffle fries. Right, so we just finished our dinner. How was the food? Very good, I enjoyed mine. Risotto was beautiful. Mm. Me too, I had the Wagyu beef lasagna. Arroy Mac Mac. And we're still a little bit hungry, so we're gonna get some dessert. So we ordered a, what kind of cheesecake is it? Uh, passion fruit and mango cheesecake. Get in my belly. <laughs> Staff here are very friendly. Mm. Very friendly, yeah. Yeah, like they give you the free drink when you come here. Food is high quality, yep. it's busy, so obviously they're doing pretty good. was lovely just finished and we're still on the fifth floor and they also have an arcade you can see right behind us um, but what makes this floor special is they have a place called tribe like what we mentioned which is like this beach bar restaurant um, on the fifth floor in Emsphere and it's really nice actually because they have a swimming pool so Dan's not been there yet so I want to take Dan and check it out yeah let's go I'm excited, it looks amazing from the photos, but yeah, never been. It's amazing, it's one of the most amazing places in Bangkok. Is it? Yeah, the views, vibe.
Right, first impressions of Trier. Unbelievable. It's like a beach club in the city. Uh -huh. That view is like phenomenal. Mm. It's like, I love the beach, I love the city, and they've combined the best of the both worlds. Yeah, I think it's, there's nothing like this in Bangkok. I've not seen anywhere like this in the world. So, but oh, really? Yeah, really. Well, to describe it, when you walk in, it's like tropical, tribal theme beachy, there's plants, you walk in, there's a massive swimming pool, there's a, there's a swimming pool bar along with a bar right behind us and uh, you can order some food, you can lie down on the sofa beds um, and just chill and they've got a DJ after a certain time with this massive, what do you call that face, what would you call it? Reminds me a little bit of uh, Mexico, like I've been to Tulum in Mexico and it's got that vibe, yes. it's like Bali slash Tulum with the, the decor. It's a good way to describe it. Bali mashed with Tulum. Yeah, 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 definitely. And then the Bangkok city skyline, which is just incredible. Yeah, really, yeah, really nice. Great, great. It's good. If you come into Bangkok and you want somewhere to chill, relax, vibe, enjoy the music and have a good time, then Tribe is on there. So I think we're going to go and relax, get sofa bed and just enjoy the moment. So. All right, so we've just had a look around, been chilling here for a while, and now it's time to say goodbye, because it's the end of a vlog. A bit of a random vlog today, but a fun one. And uh, yeah, should we say goodbye? We should, until next time. Leo Jogan Mai. See you in a bit. Adios.